Hello boys and girls, it's Michelle, and today I'm going to bring this story to life with music. The Empty Pot by Demi. Now today I have come up with a, a, a different idea. I'd like to replace some of the words in this story with sounds. For example, pot. I want to use this sound. Anytime I see the word pot, I'm going to play this instead. You want to get something to use for the sound of the word pot? Oh, look at this. Every page is beautiful. Every page is unique. Um, some of the other words that I'd like to do are uh, flower. Now, anytime I see the word flower, I'm going to play my, I have a glockenspiel here like a xylophone, but all made out of metal. And it sounds like this. So I'm not gonna say the word flower, I'm just gonna do this. And the boy's name, the boy's name is Ping. And I have a triangle that's gonna do his name. And uh, let's see, there's two more things. There's the seeds. I'm gonna use these shapers for the seeds. And Finally, I have this beautiful, beautiful rain stick for the water. Are we ready? Shall I give you a moment to go find your own instruments if you want to play along? Anytime we come across any of those words, we're going to make our special sounds. If you don't have that, don't worry. I'll do it for you. All right, here we go. A long time ago in China, there was a boy named who loved anything he planted burst into bloom. Up came bushes and even big fruit trees as if by magic. Everyone in the kingdom loved too. They planted them everywhere. And the air smelled like perfume. The emperor loved birds and animals, but most of all, he tended his own garden every day. But the emperor was very old. He needed to choose a successor to the throne. Who would his successor be? And how would the emperor choose? Because the emperor loved so much, he decided to let the choose. The next day, a proclamation was issued. All the children in the land were to come to the palace. There, they would be given special by the emperor. Whoever can show me their best in a year's time, he said, will succeed me to the throne. This news created great excitement through the land. Children from all over the country swarmed to the palace to get their... All the parents wanted their children to be chosen emperor, and all the children hoped they would be chosen too. When received his from the emperor, he was the happiest child of all. He was sure he could grow the most beautiful, filled a with rich soil. He planted the in it very carefully. every day he couldn't wait to see it sprout and grow and blossom into a beautiful day after day passed but nothing grew in his was very worried 
he put new soil into a bigger. Then he transferred the into the rich black soil. Another two months he waited. Still nothing happened. By and by, the whole year passed. Look at his pot. It's empty. Spring came, and all the children put on their best clothes to greet the emperor. You know what? When I read this the first time, I missed it, but a friend of mine pointed this out. Look. There's one boy... One little boy who's not getting dressed. Who do you think that is? They're all excited to go show the emperor their flowers. And this little boy, I bet you it's Ping. He's not so excited, is he? They rushed to the palace with their beautiful, eagerly hoping to be chosen. Was ashamed of his empty... He thought the other children would laugh at him because for once he couldn't get a to grow. His clever friend ran by holding a great big plant. He said, you're not really going to the emperor with an empty, are you? Couldn't you grow a great big like mine? I've grown lots of better than yours said, it's just that this won't grow. His father overheard this and said, you did your best and your best is good enough to present to the emperor. Holding the empty in his hands, went straight away to the palace. The emperor was looking at the slowly, one by one. How beautiful all the were. But the emperor was frowning and did not say a word. Here's some another detail I missed the first time I read it. Do you boys and girls see Ping in this story? Yep, you're right. He's right there. Not looking too happy, is he? Finally, he came to... Hung his head in shame, expecting to be punished. The emperor asked him, Why did you bring me an empty... Started to cry and replied, I planted the you gave me and I every day, but it didn't sprout. I put it in a better with better soil, but still it didn't sprout. I tended it all year long, but nothing grew. So today I had to bring an empty without a. It was the best I could do. When the emperor heard these words, a smile slowly spread over his face and he put his arm around. Then he exclaimed to one and all, I have found him. I have found the one person worthy of being emperor. Where you got these from, I do not know. For the I gave you had all been cooked, so it was impossible for any of them to grow. Uh -huh. I admire great courage to appear before me with the empty truth, and now I reward him with my entire kingdom and make him emperor of all the land. Isn't that amazing? So, even though he didn't grow anything, Ping's honesty is what the emperor was looking for, really. Isn't that wonderful? And look, he's got this beautiful carriage. Boys and girls, let's play one more song. You can use any instrument you have, 
And I'm going to use this beautiful um, flute, carved flute that was given to me by a friend of mine who went to Laos. And uh, we're going to play a little song together. Let me see if I can come up with something that sounds appropriate, okay? Here we go. Thank you, everybody. That was fun. <laughs>